Welcome back to video number two of the PEMF training, high intensity PEMF. So we talk about heavy metal, but also non-heavy metal detoxification. And you remember from our previous slide, the membrane of the cell with all those ion channels, as soon as they are clogging up based on what kind of toxicity you have in your system, that causes a multitude of problems and diseases that can be really detrimental and can cause a lot of difficulties. Now, I would like to deepen that concept and understand a little bit more what happens when we have toxins enter into the ATP factory. You can see that here, the red dot right in the middle. And that is when toxins enter into the cell. Now, in that case, we know exactly whether it's bacteria, virus, or heavy metals, or toxins, chemicals that enter into the cell. It poisons the cell. It destroys the replication of the DNA and RNA. So the whole thing is compromised, and that usually can lead to mutations, to cell changes, to disease, and in a worst case scenario, to cancer cells. So our main goal would be if we have heavy metals or toxins inside the cell that we actually create an apoptotic effect that we kill the cell with the magnetic wave so if we send those high intensity magnetic waves into the body let me just turn this on very short so that you see it actually when i turn this up you can see it's actually a really strong tremor that goes through my body. So these waves then, and let me turn it off. <laughs> you don't do it that strong around your neck. You sit on it or in your belly where you don't have that kind of intense feeling. But I wanted to show you. So when you have those massive waves going through the body, they shake with that excitement, that negative ionization that travel through the body. They shake up all those toxins and oftentimes create an apoptotic effect. That means the cell dies off and is then eliminated by your system. So that's okay. But there is also toxins that sit at the outside, at the membrane um, connectors, those ion channels, and block those channels. And you can see that in this image quite easily here. This is open, unlimited um, you know, nutrient going in and out. And then you have on this side here toxins that block those channels. And as soon as you use PMF, like I just did around the neck or in certain areas, and you can move that around the body, it shakes loose toxins, you know, increases membrane potential. That's how the cell inflates. Then it shakes loose the toxins, increases detoxification, increases nutrient uptake, oxygen uptake, and ATP production. See, in the summer, uh, in the summary, that's pretty much all that PMF does. And what happens when you shake loose those toxins? Well, normally they just dog back on, and that's a bit of a problem. So some patients, when they do, and they're very toxic, and they do PMF, and they do it for too long, and there's too many toxins flushed out, and they have nothing to bind them. Well, then they dock back on in different locations, and they feel, oh, I have a little bit of a headache, or I feel nauseated they've overdone. So in those cases, I mentioned already, we need binders. And binders, like the black box, for example, is something that is long chain molecules that then grab onto those heavy metals and help with the elimination process. Now, the black box is really fascinating in use because it has everything your body needs to detoxify properly. It's a really sophisticated program. So you have your spray bottles, um, different, you know, like it's, I think, four different types of sprays that you put in your mouth and liposomal, and it's a powder in those big black jars. And so milk thistle and, and all the liquids, all the vitamins your body needs to support all those detox pathways. And a lot of people, they would go for modified citrus pectin and clay, but you all know that it's not quite that easy. We need that support. We need certain attributes and certain vitamins to support other processes in the liver to break down toxins. So the uh, trulyheal.com forward slash black box, I've done a review on that box 
and it is a really, really fantastic tool. So just check it out because it deals not only with heavy metals, but also mold toxins, plastic compounds, hormone metabolites, really important herbicides and pesticides. And because it's liposomal, it really has a very, very intense effect. You do that for one month and you realize how your toxin levels come down very, very fast. But you can also, and this is something I do here, if somebody comes to test out one of my devices, well, I tell them to spray before, during and after zeolite, um, the AC set nano zeolite spray into their mouth, which means all the toxins that are released are then bound in the bloodstream. And this is how you can compensate in a short period. And this is what you see more and more with clinics starting to do not just an IV with vitamin cocktail or supplement with zinc or selenium. They actually do first PMF to prime all the cells, to open everything up, and then they hook the client up to the IV treatment, which means everything is straight away absorbed into the cells. And you will understand in a moment why that is. We are all so deficient. Um, Burton Goldberg said it nice. We live in the land of plenty, yet we're starving to death. And that's twofold. Not only because you don't have the nutrients and don't get the minerals, you might eat a fantastic diet, but because of your mercury toxicity or arsenic or lead or cadmium or whatever, you will be not able, you, your body just can't absorb those nutrients. And in the same way with all the plastic toxicity, Dr. Lee Aaron Connelly explained it really well with all those plastic microfibers that block up all the cell membranes of our healthy cells. We have so much estrogen dominance and so many xenoestrogens in our systems that we can hardly function properly. So knowing that you can clear that out before you do an IV treatment and then you combine that with a good detox, you have an incredible advantage. Now, we all say that um, PMF enhances your immune system. And there's two main reasons for that. Number one, by increasing membrane potential, you can see on the left-hand side here, those cells being really small and crumbled. And then after the treatment, they go really big. And if you look under the dark field microscope, they become fully active and start moving and traveling around the blood, chasing bacteria. Whereas before, they were very lethargic. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, membrane potential. They can take up nutrient. And secondly, the red blood cells carry oxygen. Now, a white blood cell, in order to chase bacteria or anything else, requires a lot of oxygen for the respiratory burst. And that's about 100 times more oxygen than in neutral condition. When they catch a bacteria, they need to kill it. And therefore, they need to produce hydrogen peroxide for which they need oxygen. Again, huge amounts of oxygen. Now, when your hemoglobin in the red blood cells is fully charged and those white blood cells travel through those red blood cells to the place where they need to work, they can catch and take left and right from every blood cell that they come by the, um, the oxygen. And that's why it works so well. Okay. Now that's the basics. Let's look at something that is very, very conclusive when you realize we talk about mineral antagonist. Again, we talk about the membrane of the cell and there is certain ion channels and all of those ion channels are key lock. So if, for example, selenium comes along or zinc comes along, it goes through a certain key lock system into the cell. Now, mercury occupies the same. So if we have mercury in our system and you had four, five years, six years of mercury fillings that steam out that vapor into your system, all of your cells will be contaminated, which means you cannot absorb selenium, zinc, iron and iodine. Now, arsenic, same thing, aluminium, magnesium, zinc, iron and manganese or lead is calcium. Uh, that's why lead poisoning is very often to do with osteoporosis and with bone related problems. So calcium, iron and zinc cannot be absorbed. 
Now you realize zinc is in all of them and zinc is an anti-cancer treatment. It's actually a very important element that all of our cells need to defend themselves and to work properly. And there is plenty of evidence when you look at, you know, that's a toxic, uh, toxic chart, mercury levels high, silver high, aluminum high, and then you have cadmium in the yellow and lead in the yellow. That's a chart of a very sick person. So seeing that and realizing that that poisoning is actually preventing them from absorbing all the minerals and nutrients their cells need, you understand why without a detox, you can actually not recover, not heal. So water as the solution to pollution. Don't forget, you drink before the treatment, during the treatment and after the treatment to flush out as much as you can because it really helps. We've covered the detox and I haven't spoken about the non-heavy metal detox. The non-tox GPL is a test that indicates about a thousand diseases like fibromyalgia and all of that as a result of certain toxins that we absorb. And the concept is identically the same, whether it's a heavy metal or it's any kind of chemical. Once they are inside the cell, we want to create with that heavy shock wave an apoptotic effect. And it doesn't happen on the first treatment. All of your toxic cells are dying off. It's a gradual process more and more. The more local, the more high the output, the more will die off. So do it gradually, do it every day. And you will find that it will just, it, it, it's, a, it's a gradual process. But when you look a week later from where you started, how different you feel, it's absolutely amazing. And that's what I would suggest you do. Get rid of toxins, clear out have a good diet that helps with fibers to clean out your colon. If you want to do enemas at the same time, really fantastic. If you use ozone at the same time, you break down all of those uh, plastic toxins and chemicals as well as neurotoxins produced by your, by your bacteria. So the elimination process, the getting rid of those toxins is greatly enhanced. A lot of people always say, Marcus, there's so many treatments. Why do you focus on those three? Because if you go to Germany into a $30,000, $40,000 clinic for three weeks, well, that's what they do. Hypothermia to detoxify, boost your immune system, increase your white blood cell count and flag all the pathogens with heat shock proteins. Then they give you daily ozone therapy to break down the plastic toxicity, chemical toxicity to boost your immune system and produce heavy duty uh, red blood cells. And then you charge with PMF every day. And that's what they do. The only treatment they add on top is local hypothermia, which we can't recreate at home. It's a very difficult treatment, uh, requires very expensive machinery. But you know, you can do that as an outpatient. You go there, have two or three treatments and the rest you can do for the next 10 years at home. So these treatments have proven to work for thousands of patients. And we have hundreds of patients with prostate cancer or with different types of cancer who manage to get better and better over time without any additional treatments or medication. So these are really the most fundamental, the most powerful treatments that you can do easily at home.